I have a hard confession to make. TRPC was difficult for me to learn. I first went to the website and looked at it and just stared like, what is this? I don't get it. What's happening? Why do I care? And then when I played with a project that had it set up, there were so many files and all of them were really hard to follow and understand. Ultimately, what it took was setting it up myself, playing with it a bunch and using it to implement new APIs to figure out how powerful it was and how useful it could be. There have been lots of step-by-step -step improvements around this, from my own YouTube videos, to the documentation overhaul, to Create T3 app, to TRPC V10 really improving the developer experience. But generally speaking, I still find it too hard to fully understand and learn TRPC, which is why I am so hyped for the changes that we have just made to Create T3 app in hopes of making it easier to understand TRPC as you adopt it. The role of this video is both to announce these changes, but also to show off TRPC and give you a better overview of how it works from the start. And if for some reason you haven't hit that subscription button on YouTube, come on, subs are free. They help the channel a ton, help us hit 100K. We're gonna get there soon. Let's talk about some TRPC. These changes happened because of the hard work of Julius. So Julius worked his butt off based on a repo I made where I rewired the internals of Create T3 app a bit to make it easier to understand. And he rebuilt all of the templating for Create T3 app around these changes. These are the current state of Create T3 app. So if you install it right now, this is what you'll be seeing. And here, the API directory is now built around your API for your application. The goal of this directory is to be the single one-stop shop for all of the API definitions that your client will consume from your server in as simple, cohesive place, a place as possible. The entry point for all of this is the TRPC file. And I went out of my way to comment on top here that you probably don't need to edit this file. And we gave context on the reasons that you would want to and where those are in the file. I have different parts, part one, two, and three, where I break down what each of these things is. It's basically documentation within the code with links to all of the context and all of the documentation around these parts, as well as a little bit of context on why we did things the way we did here. I condensed pretty much everything I could around the core of TRPC to this file. This one location has most of the things you would ever need to import for TRPC. You have your example router here, which is just a create TRPC router that has a public procedure with an input query, whatnot. And at the top up here, root.ts, this is where all of your routers are combined for the main router for your application. In TRPC, a router is a group of functions that your client can call. You can group these however the hell you choose. I've broken this down with things like user and payments and info. And whatever you find are the logical ways to break your service up into parts, you can, or you can throw it all in one router. By domain, generally speaking, is fine. Whatever you prefer, you could break things up here however you want here. We don't recommend any specific way, but we do have one sub router here of the example router. You can make new sub routers, you can define procedures right in here if you want. Whatever you want to do works fine here. Procedures are the core piece of TRPC that you call from the client. A procedure is generally speaking, a function that does something on your server and returns something to the client. A procedure can be a query or a mutation. A query is to get data, and it's a thing you don't care if it gets hit a whole bunch. A mutation is something that changes data, therefore you don't want it to be hit all of the time. Usually you would want a user's action to trigger it, like clicking a button or saving a file. It's pretty easy to define both. You can also change between them by just doing dot .mutation instead of dot .query. Super simple, really nice to work with. Where things look the most different, but technically speaking are pretty much identical from how they were before, is your experience calling TRPC on the client. Because we no longer import TRPC, you'll see that utils didn't have a TRPC file anymore. The only file in this code base named TRPC is the server API file. There's also the barrel one for the pages API TRPC, but that's just how TRPC receives queries. It's not a file you really touch. The only actual TRPC file is source server API now, which is way simpler. And on this utils file, we import a bunch of TRPC stuff, but what we export is API. 
And now when you call it to your PC endpoint in your create T3 app, what you call is api.example.whatever. This is an example of a TRPC call using the new syntax. And if I wanted to go make a new one, let's do one real quick. Hell, we'll do it in the root, the way that you don't have to, but absolutely can do. So we'll call this new procedure. Autocomplete's going to have to import that. It's fine. Dot query. Return hello. I don't need to write return because it's implicit return here. Perfect. And now, if I want to get this info, I can type const new data equals API dot and autocomplete can take me from here. Dot new procedure dot use query. And now if I want to render this data, all I have to do is put it somewhere. New data. Look at that. Copilot saves me again. New data dot data, which it knows is string or undefined. So if it gets it back and it's a string, it'll show it there. And what's this mad about? Just TypeScript server dying, which will happen. Generally speaking, if you ever have weird type errors, Command Shift P or Control Shift P for y'all Windows users in VS Code, type in restart and you'll see TypeScript restart TS server option right there. Hit enter. Things will often go away. Anyways. It's that simple to get data from your new TRPC endpoint. I am super pumped about these changes because to me what they represent is a, a deeper care for the developer experience of learning new technologies. I think Create T3 app serves a, a weird role to an extent because it's not just a way to start an application using Next.js and the rest of the T3 stack. Create T3 app is the way a lot of people learn these technologies. And the extra effort the team has put in to making it the best way to learn these technologies is so cool. Huge shout out to Julius, huge shout out to Chris, huge shout out to Nexel, of course, and to everybody else contributing to TRPC, especially those putting the extra effort in for the localizations. We have the TRP or the Create T3 app docs in like seven languages already. And I know that those contributors are working hard to update the docs based on the changes that we made here. Appreciate each and every one of you for the hard work you're doing. We are actually making full stack and type safety on the internet better and more accessible. If you haven't tried Create T3 app yet, come on, go do it. Use it for a project. You'll be surprised and blown away with the DX. I'm positive. If you haven't subbed, please do. Helps the channel a ton. YouTube seems to think you're going to like the video they're showing you in the corner right there. Give that a watch. They're probably right. Their algorithm's pretty good. I'll see you in the next one.